The Dubai Air Show 2025, held from November 16th to the 21st, was filled with the latest and greatest in aviation technology, but one aircraft stole the show without even flying. Russia's Su-75 Checkmate, a single-engine stealth fighter, was the center of attention. It first appeared as a full-sized model back in 2021, creating, you know, a huge buzz. Now, four years later, it returned with big promises and new designs, making everyone talk about its future. Russian officials, including Rostec CEO Sergei Chemezov, stood by new models of the aircraft, telling the world that the first real prototype was getting very close to its first flight, possibly happening in early 2026. This announcement created a wave of excitement and speculation among defense experts and potential buyers at the event. The Checkmate is special because it represents Russia's attempt to create a lightweight, affordable stealth fighter. Most stealth jets, like the American F-35 or Russia's own Su-57, are very expensive and complex. The Su-75 is designed to be different. It is aimed at countries that want fifth-generation capabilities but cannot afford the high price tag of other options. With a projected cost of around 25 to 30 million dollars per plane, it offers advanced features like media group, close-up of Su-75 checkmate's nose, and cockpit outdoors, with visible radar absorbing materials and electronic panels stock distribute equally, a low radar signature, modern electronics, and powerful weapons. At the air show, Russia was not just showing a plane, it was presenting a strategic idea that could change the balance of air power for many nations across the globe. The atmosphere at the Russian pavilion was one of confident marketing. Alongside the Checkmate, Russia also brought its larger two-engine Su-57 stealth fighter for its Middle Eastern debut. This was a clear message. Russia is still a major player in the military aircraft market, despite international pressures. The Checkmate was displayed with markings representing potential customers like Iran and the UAE, a bold move to attract interest from regional powers. This direct marketing approach showed Russia's strong desire to find international partners and secure funding to move the project from a model on a showroom floor to a real fighter jet in the sky, making the air show a critical moment for the program's survival. The return of the Checkmate to Dubai was more than just a simple update, it was a statement of intent. Russia is signaling that its defense industry is pushing forward with ambitious new projects. The world was watching closely to see if the promises made in 2021 were turning into real progress. For many smaller air forces, the Su-75 represents a possible future where they can operate advanced stealth aircraft without breaking their national budgets. The conversations and presentations at the Dubai Air Show 2025 set the stage for the next crucial chapter in the story of this intriguing and highly anticipated Russian fighter jet, leaving everyone wondering what would come next. When the Su-75 Checkmate reappeared at the 2025 Dubai Air Show, it was clear that its design had not stood still. The models on display showed significant changes compared to the version seen in 2021. Engineers at Sukhoi had clearly been busy refining the aircraft's shape to improve its stealth capabilities and aerodynamic performance. One of the most noticeable changes was to the air intake. The new design is more angular and wraps under the nose, with the central divider removed. This modification helps to reduce the fighter's frontal radar cross-section, making it harder for enemy radar to detect. These were not minor tweaks, they were fundamental redesigns showing a serious effort to maximize the jet's stealthiness. Other changes were visible all over the aircraft's body. The wing roots, where the wings connect to the fuselage, were extended forward and the rear wing edges were made larger. These adjustments are likely intended to increase lift and improve the plane's maneuverability at different speeds and altitudes. The underside of the fuselage was also made flatter. Even the cockpit canopy received an update, with new sawtooth edges added to its frame. These jagged edges are a common feature on stealth aircraft, as they help to scatter radar waves instead of reflecting them directly back to the source. Each of these changes, small and large, contributes to the overall goal of making the Su-75 a true low observable fighter. The evolution of the Checkmate's design shows that Russia is learning from its experience with the Su-57 and from studying other stealth aircraft around the world. The focus is clearly on making the aircraft as stealthy as possible from the front, which is the most important angle during an aerial engagement. While it may not have the all-aspect stealth of more expensive fighters like the F-22 or F-35, its design prioritizes what is most critical for its expected role. The aircraft is planned to be equipped with a powerful Saturn AL-51 engine, an active electronically scanned array radar, 
and an infrared search and track system, giving the pilot advanced tools for detecting and engaging targets. These design improvements are crucial for attracting foreign buyers. Potential customers need to be convinced that the Su-75 is not just a concept, but a credible and evolving platform. By showing a more refined and technologically mature design at the 2025 Airshow, Russia aimed to build confidence in the program. The changes demonstrate a commitment to solving complex engineering challenges and delivering a product that can compete on the modern battlefield. The journey from the 2021 mock-up to the 2025 model reveals a story of continuous development as Russian engineers work to turn the ambitious vision of the Checkmate into a formidable flying machine ready for the 21st century battle space. One of the biggest surprises at the Dubai Airshow 2025 was the unveiling of a new unmanned version of the Su-75 Checkmate. Alongside the single-seat and two-seat manned concepts, Russia displayed a sleek, cockpitless model of the fighter, marked 750. This was a clear signal that Russia is developing the Checkmate not just as a standalone fighter, but as a platform for a family of aircraft, including a robotic wingman. This uncrewed version featured many of the same design refinements as the manned model, like the reworked wings and tail, but its lack of a cockpit allows for more internal space for fuel or advanced electronics, increasing its range and capabilities. The idea of an unmanned checkmate is a game-changer for future air combat. This version could fly as a loyal wingman alongside manned fighters like the Su-57 or a piloted Su-75. In this role, the drone could Media Group Unmanned fighter jet leading formation over runway Outdoor shot of drone aircraft displaying electronic warfare pods as stock a distribute equally Fly ahead into dangerous areas to scout for targets Jam enemy radar Or carry extra missiles this would allow the manned aircraft to stay further away from threats, increasing the pilot's safety. The unmanned jet could also be used for high-risk missions where the chance of being shot down is very high without risking the life of a highly trained pilot. This flexible approach could give air forces a significant tactical advantage on the battlefield. Developing an unmanned variant, however, presents its own set of challenges. Creating reliable autonomous systems that can make complex decisions in a fast-paced combat environment is incredibly difficult. Russia has faced some issues in this area, as highlighted by a 2024 incident where an Su-57 reportedly shot down a malfunctioning S-70 Okotnik drone. This shows that the technology for autonomous combat systems is still maturing. For the unmanned checkmate to be successful, Russia will need to make significant advances in Media Group Wide outdoor shot of unmanned jet with digital communication equipment, close-up of aircraft antenna or avionics pod at air show a stock, a distribute, equally, artificial intelligence, secure data links, and autonomous flight controls. The unveiling of the model is the first step, but a long road of development and testing lies ahead. Despite these challenges, the strategic importance of an unmanned checkmate cannot be overstated. It aligns with a global trend towards mixed fleets of manned and unmanned aircraft working together. By announcing this variant, Russia is showing that it is thinking about the future of air warfare and positioning the Su-75 platform as a forward-looking investment. For potential export customers, the option to one day integrate unmanned loyal wingmen into their air force is a very attractive proposition. It offers a path to building a larger, more capable and more resilient air combat force making the entire Checkmate program even more appealing to nations looking for a modern and adaptable air power solution. While the new models and ambitious plans for the Su-75 Checkmate created excitement, the program faces serious challenges that cannot be ignored. The biggest hurdle is the series of delays that have pushed back its timeline. Originally, the first flight was expected much earlier, but as of late 2025, the prototype has still not taken to the air. These delays are caused by several factors, including significant funding problems. Russia has been openly searching for a foreign partner to help finance the project's development. The UAE was once considered a potential partner, but reportedly stepped back due to the slow progress, leaving Russia to look for other investors like Belarus. Another major obstacle is the impact of international sanctions. Western sanctions, which were tightened after the invasion of Ukraine, have made it very difficult for Russia's defense industry to get essential components like advanced semiconductors and precision machinery. These high-tech parts are crucial for building modern avionics, radar systems and flight controls. 
Furthermore, the ongoing war in Ukraine has put immense strain on Russia's industrial capacity. Factories are busy producing and repairing existing aircraft like the Su-34 and Su-35 to support the war effort, which diverts resources, money and skilled workers away from new development projects like the Su-75. Despite these difficulties, Russia is aggressively marketing the Su-75 to a specific group of nations. The fighter is being promoted as a cost-effective stealth solution for countries in Africa, Asia, Latin America and the Middle East that are not able to buy American or European jets. Nations like Algeria, Vietnam and Iran have been mentioned as potential customers. For these countries, the Checkmate offers a rare opportunity to acquire fifth-generation fighter technology, which could significantly boost their military capabilities. The low price point is its biggest selling point, making it an attractive alternative to more expensive and politically complicated options from the West. Looking ahead, the future of the Su-75 Checkmate depends on two things, securing funding and proving its technology. The next major milestone will be the first flight of the prototype, which Russian officials now hope will happen in early 2026. This will be a critical moment that proves the aircraft is more than just a concept. If the flight is successful and a foreign partner signs on, the program could gain the momentum it needs to move into production. The world will be watching closely. The success or failure of the Su-75 